Now, look at present times. If you look at present times, we will find the same situation. Same situation because where is the other narrative? And at least let us give some credibility to the people that they seem to have brought a new narrative. At least I will say after the last general elections, there is little diversity that is creeping into our system. If today Shekhar Gupta, Chetan Bhagat and Suhel Seth are talking about the opposition and their speeches, it is because the people have shown the mirror to these people. The, and look at the narrative before the elections. Look at the narrative after the election, last elections. Except two persons, Prabhakala Prabhakar and Yogendra Yadav, nobody spoke of 250, everybody spoke of more than 370. Now why this had to happen? It was, it was bringing a new narrative. The, the, I mean it was all but following one narrative. Now this is no good for the press. Just now I was told about social media. That social media is eating into the print media. I look at social media at least doing well because people are looking for some diversity now. That the diversity is required because look at uh, look at the press. If the entire media was, uh, if the say say all the papers were in the hands of two business houses, then uh, it would be a completely one narrative, which is happening in our country. I mean, if that is the when that becomes the business model, the entire media edifice has to collapse and uh, it is uh, days like this that uh, that uh, help us to take stock of what is happening and uh, and it is good at least that on this day we take stock of what is happening to look at uh, look at uh, how we behave because they say that uh, we get what we deserve. If we get the government that we deserve, we also get the press that we deserve. So I think it is not the fault of the press, it is not fault of, of anybody, not fault of the situation that, that we are in. The entire society is like it. So I think we will have all have to build. See, Tilak was building social consciousness, you know, political consciousness, because he knew that the press of that time was building a single narrative <coughs> that had to be broken by Maratha and Kesi. We are enjoying the freedom today, but now it is totally different times, and totally different times because it is times after the new economic reforms where every vocation, every profession is becoming commerce. See, when the freedom movement was there, they knew that they would suffer. Tilak himself faced sedition, he was faced imprisonment, not once and twice, but number of times. Please understand one thing, our country is not doing well or not doing good on the press freedom index. I have again figures with me, see there is, there are, this press freedom index is something called reporters without borders. They give, they give index based on various issues. 
and these issues could be say whether press can report free, whether press is under control of the government, whether press is controlled by business people. So the final line is whether press is on its own giving what the people want. And we will find if we look at the if we look at the graph, the graph is falling, falling and falling. In 2003, we were at 100. In 2014, we came to 140. There was a sharp decline. In 2023, we came to 161. This 161 is out of 180 countries in the world. 2024, we have slightly gone up at 159. So, why is media important? See, we look at government, legislature, and judiciary as three wings of the state. Now, we always find that each wing should control the other. We find that judiciary will control the executive. The, the, the legislature will control the executive. It is not happening like that. It, is, it has to go together. Each control the other. We all have in our mind that it is the judges which will control the, the government. Now, who will control the judges? And that is why we find and we say that media is the fourth pillar. Now, media is not the fourth pillar. Media is the central pillar. Now, it is a central pillar because whether it is the executive, legislature or judiciary, all will work also based upon public opinion. See, the less, sir, then judges or courts, if you look at how courts decide, to a large extent, the courts decide based upon law and facts of the case. But many a times, public opinion also matters. I mean, a judge will also take into account what the society will think of judiciary itself. See, these are very important aspects. So, and that is why we find that uh, that uh, that uh, media has a special role, and that role was very clearly seen by Lokmanya Tilak. Not in this century, last century, but century before that. Subscribe and follow our YouTube and Facebook channel for more videos.